Hello and welcome to the news thing, the new show that brings you news so hard it hurts. My name is Wasi and right now it's 4.40 a.m. Sometimes at the news thing we forget to do all of our videos in time and those are the days when I'm going to have to do these videos myself in my room. I'm pretty sure that the audio is better this time than in all, all of our other videos. But anyway, let's get started. So I just went around a while back to look over news from all of the internets, and when I mean the internets, I mean the Daily Star. And I found some very scary stuff today. Starting with what rap found in Baidhar DHS, a creepy torture cell in Baidhar DHS. I, I can't really believe that. Um, rap arrested 12 people there, and amongst them, three of them were Dhaka University students, and one of them is, or you know, probably was, the senior vice president of the Dushimuddin Hall in Dushimuddin Hall unit in Dhaka University. Now, who lets university students in charge of a torture cell in the first place? Why would they even have one? Why would they need one? The authorities were tipped off by Harun Rashid, a driver who realized and got curious after four garment factory officials were taking too long to leave the building. He then began to look for them and then ended up hearing cries of pain from the second floor. From the second floor. I know, who keeps a torture cell on the second floor? But anyway, it kind of freaks me out the fact that that, that university students or, you know, anyone in anything would actually have a torture cell. That too at a place like Baidar DHS where you would usually feel very safe. Alright, so ongoing with more crime related stuff, muggers shot a Bikash employee and stole Dosh Lak Taka in broad light at Mirpur. Witnesses say that after victim Abdul Kalam slowed his motorbike to turn to the other side of the road, three muggers blocked the way with their own bike with guns and tried to steal the money. After a little bit of res resisting from Kalam, he was shot in the hip and his left hand, meanwhile a nearby driver was shot in his jaw. Thankfully they are both okay and they were sent to the Taka Medical um, College Hospital to treat their wounds. Um, during the whole debacle, Kalam did shout for help, but in spite of it being densely populated in Mirpur, no one actually came to help, which actually surprises me because, you know, there's muggers with guns and a bike about to steal some guy's Dosh Lak Taka, not even his own, someone else's, it's Bikash's money, so it's like a lot of money and I'm surprised that no one actually would bother to start helping, them, helping out the guy, which really begs a lot of questions as to how active our citizens are actually are. So, you know, guys, my thing to you is, like, if you guys ever see anyone getting mugged on the street, please go down to help. If I ever come by that situation, I don't know what I'd do, but at least knowing to help would actually help, I guess. Something else I found today is that Mozilla shared a video of a boy slapping a girl, which tipped off the police, and the boy got arrested this Sunday. I really don't know what to say about this one. A part of me is happy that the policeman did a good job by maintaining the law, but the other side of me feels bad for the fact that the boy is still a juvenile, and being in the same school, a slap shouldn't really account for much, I guess. And the fact that someone can get arrested from a Facebook post actually really scares me. Now guys, I'm gonna have to go early because, you know, it's 4.52am now, and I would have liked to talk more on this episode, but, you know, with the lack of happy news that are revolving around Bangladesh, I guess I just don't want it that much. Maybe I'm just not looking hard enough for, for happy, uplifting news right now, but... I'd like it if you guys can help me out here in this one. So if you guys find some nice newsworthy stuff that you guys want to share, you can send us an email at thenewsthing.com at gmail. Wait, let me say that again, thenewsthing at gmail.com, or you can just send us a mail from the thenewsthing.com webpage. And let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. Hit a like if you liked it, subscribe if you like our channel. And while we're at it, check out a lot of our other videos. Well, that was me, Wasi from The News Thing, and I'm going to go sleep. Thank you.